So, man, I <laughs> the news today is just too much to report on. I'm going to try to cut through it without making an hour-long video. Um, <clears throat> all I can do is just kind of take notes and... You know, I, I guess it's... I, I just find this shit entertaining. Watching the world burn, baby. Watching the world burn. Um, by the way, the... Uh, so, here, here, let's just get the rundown. So the Philly uh, Federal Reserve says that the Biden employment numbers are off by a factor of a hundred or whatever, a thousand. <laughs> it was it was insane. Biden says we got a million people that are going back to work, and they said like ten thousand. I mean, you do the numbers there. Uh, so that was that was a huge uh, event that I saw today. I well, as far as the markets went, uh, they were basically down today, uh, and I didn't realize. I mean, they. My prediction for 2022 was pretty damn accurate. I mean, they, we were down quite a bit. What, 35 percent, 40 percent for uh, 2022, and uh, and then they were, and today they were down like 350, and then they came back up. Uh, nobody knows exactly why. Metals uh, continue, or commodities continue to go up. I uh, predicted on that. Um, this is a very interesting uh, story that uh, you might want to pay attention to. Is um, well, we knew that the um, Ukrainians uh, hit a Russian barracks on New Year's Day. I told you there was 63 dead, uh, probably um, in the hundreds of casualties. Uh, casualties, uh, you know, and, and that does not sound like a callous word. I, I just don't, I don't like it. That means that these people are crippled for life, a lot of them. Uh, legs blown off. It just means they managed to survive. And from now on, you know, of course, in my situation with my broken neck and I got no feeling in my hands or feet, I understand what it is to be a casualty, even though mine was falling down some damn stairs. But I mean, these these people may not ever live a normal life ever again. So uh, and then you consider them a lot of people, uh, the narcissist, uh, they consider them a burden to society. Right. Are you going to take care of your veterans? I, you know, I don't know. I think the Russians will. I, I'd like to think that. Uh, so, um, so what 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 is the result of this? And and this this is the thing that I found very very interesting. All over Russian television, uh, they are broadcasting the fact. And see, Russia early on in the war, they weren't really reporting on uh, the casualties that were taking place, the defeats that they were having against the Ukrainian military, uh, the, the, uh, the high number of casualties that they were taking. Now, when I say high number, I mean, they, they were inflicting worse on, on Ukraine than, than they were taking. But, you know, they just weren't reporting on the war like the... And so this is, this is interesting. They have broadcast this all over Russia, that the United States has now inflicted pain upon Russia with major casualties with these HIMARS systems. And they're saying that these systems were manned by uh, either uh, U.S. mercenaries or NATO troops. So this is a major escalation in the war. I hope you can kind of understand that. Uh, and, and, they're, and they're broadcasting. So the Russian people are incensed. I, it's, I'm just I'm just telling you how this war is continuing to escalate, and and also Russia has has basically said they know where the NATO forces are in Ukraine, and they could hit them at any time with uh, missiles, and so they're laying down the gauntlet. They're saying, okay, you're going to hit us with HIMARS missiles, we're going to start taking out some NATO commanders that are in Ru in uh, Ukraine. And that's going to be a major escalation to the war because, see, you have to understand how the war's been kind of going is Russia knows where NATO is. NATO knows where Russia is. Russia is. And so they've been kind of just doing this shadow battle back and forth. Well, you know, once you once you cross that that line and they, they take out a bunch of NATO. Well, they have. I mean. Anyway, it, it's going to go back and forth, and uh, I tell you what, this thing could escalate. Uh, it's it's going to be uh, kind of crazy. Uh, and let's see. Um, by by the way, I'm sure you watched the um, the craziness that's went on with the Republicans today. I tell you what, I'm very proud, 
very proud of the Republican Party. I, everybody, I, you know, everybody says it's a it's a crap show. Uh, no, no. The thing that I don't like about the Democrat Party, uh, not only are they communist Marxist, but you know they they just basically you know they they they've been so kowtowed with their totalitarian leadership that uh, they don't even have a debate. You know, they just go along with whatever the, the leadership says because they know if they don't, they're going to get annihilated. Well, at least in the Republican Party, we're having a debate, right? Um, and, and so some people uh, nominated Jim Jordan for um, uh, the uh, Speaker of the House. And I, I, boy, I tell you, I'd like to see Jim Jordan as Speaker of the House. Uh, but at the same time, Kevin McCarthy, he's a political animal. Uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Matt Gates called him. A, you're putting an alligator, <laughs> you know, a swamp alligator in, in, in command of the of the house. I don't know. But Kevin's also he's made some concessions and uh, we'll see where all that goes. And uh, but I'm just I'm just glad to see a healthy debate on the uh, Republican front, uh, which we would never see in the Democrat Party. No way, no how. Uh, they're 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 leftist Marxist uh, communist, and uh, so but at least on the Republican side, you know, uh, and they're calling it a, it a shift show, and I like the shift show. So we'll see, we'll see where that goes. Um, oh, this was a piece of news that I got today. I thought this was very interesting. Is that China may give Saudi Arabia nuclear technology uh, in? Uh, to to get them to ditch the dollar uh and boy if they ditch the petrodollar that that'd be huge and that was i don't know i mean th this is kind of you know you just kind of like listen to the french news and you're like whoo that would be interesting if that happened that, that that's that that would be uh amazing of course we uh we got more news on the um the ftx connection to the democrat party and we already knew that that you know ftx gave them uh, 40 million dollars but what we did not know is that how these these cryptocurrencies were connected to the um, cartels. Now the Democrats are very very much connected to the uh, criminal cartels, obviously because they're letting them across the border to, you know, infect the whole country with fentanyl. So what they're saying is that the cartels might be a little bit pissed off at the Democrats. Uh, for stealing all their money. <laughs> so, so maybe we're going to see some Democrats get assassinated here soon by the drug cartels. I, that would be, that would be I, well, I, I don't want to say fun to watch. I don't want anybody to get killed. But I mean, but still, you know, they obviously stole a hell of a lot of money. And they stole it from bad people and, and good people. I mean, who was investing in these uh, cryptocurrencies? I think it was a lot of the drug cartels. So I think the Democrats might be in a little bit of trouble there. We'll see that that could prove interesting. Um, the uh, the other thing that I found out uh, today was well, you, you I'm sure that you've got the news that the NFL player uh, he went down with a heart attack, and they're saying it was because of a blow to his chest. Um, I like you know on YouTube I can't say anything about that other than I John Campbell. The uh, doctor that reported on the uh, pandemic from the very beginning that I watched way back in 2020, um, he started up a YouTube channel, I mean a Rumble channel now, and uh, he's, he's, re he's basically coming out and say, saying his mind on, on these um, jabs. And, uh, and so you, I encourage you to go watch him because uh, he can't say anything on YouTube. It's all censored. You can't uh, cannot talk about the jab on YouTube, but he's all over Rumble now. And uh, I found that very interesting. I was wondering, I was wondering if ever he would like get on Rumble and just because dude's brilliant. I mean, he's a brilliant mind. And so that's, that's, that was pretty amazing. Uh, the other thing, uh, Russia, um, they moved, um, well, we were wondering, you know, they, they had their bombers, their nuclear bombers, within range of um, the uh, strikes, uh, the uh, drone strikes from Ukraine. And everybody wondered, like, what are they gonna, when are they going to do something about moving the bombers to get them into a safer location? Well, it turns out they do have a limited number of bases where they can put those bombers. And so what was interesting was they flew them, <laughs> from what I'm seeing, all the way across the nation, and they parked them next to China. Okay, does that mean China's going to invade Taiwan and the Russian bombers are there? Mm, I 
I don't know. I mean, why would they fly them all the way across? I mean, because now, they, I mean, they didn't have to fly them there. They could have put them somewhere in between. But no, no, they parked them right next to China, and it just seems kind of weird. Uh, I'm just throwing that out there. Um, so, uh, uh, let's see. Kevin McCarthy. Um, he, oh, yeah, Elon, <laughs> Elon Musk. Well, you know, we got the Fachi files coming out. I hope that little short troll gets uh, prosecuted, but I'm sure he'll just, like I said, get a job at, at uh, Pfizer. But uh, anyway, I, 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 but the, the thing that I found interesting today was the WTF, the World Trade Foundation, is that the, the name for it? Uh, they just banned uh, Twitter from their website. They, they, just, they just threw them off. And they uh, actually issued a warning to uh, Elon Musk that they're going to take him down if he continues with these uh, Twitter files. Ah, we'll see who wins, you know, richest man in the world against the World Trade Foundation. Uh, of course, you know, these, these are the Goliaths going up against each other, and thank God they are. You know, I think it's a good thing for the world. Um, there's a new interview on YouTube, and I don't know whether they'll take it down or not, but it's Douglas McGregor and an English uh, uh, guy. Uh, and just look up Douglas McGregor on uh, YouTube. You ought to check it out. I mean, it was a very interesting interview. It goes back in history about the history of Russia and uh, the whole, you know, how this whole thing came about uh, and, and how we just, as, you know, a Western nation, uh, we just don't have any regard to, to the, the long standing, you know, well, you think about it. I mean, what was it? 35 million Russians died during World War II. I mean, there's monuments everywhere in World War II to their, their, um, their deaths and everything. So uh, I guess that's just kind of the world, watching the world burn down, uh, run down. Uh, I try to go, just go through it pretty quick just to spark you into uh, looking into the stories. Uh, so I always like to finish the videos with uh, something that uh, might help you out. Uh, I don't have a ticker symbol. I actually I kind of do. I, I, uh, the Economic Ninja came out with a video today and he was talking about a company, but I, I can't buy it and I don't know how you would buy it. I, I'm on Charles Schwab, E-Trade and Fidelity and no way to get it. Uh, so I guess he's got better connections than I do. So um, anyway, so I'm not going to talk about that. But the thing that I did want to tell you is, is something that I do constantly is, um, especially after breaking my neck, um, you know, it's like today I, I went in and I do my finances and, you know, because, well, it looks like the 87,000 IRS agents that the Democrats voted in and wanted everybody in the United States to get audited with are going to get voted out if we ever get a Speaker of the House that's a Republican, hopefully. Uh, so that might you know so you might be a little bit safer from getting audited this year uh thanks to the republicans you know but uh i don't know i don't know if that's going to happen for sure but what i do want to tell you is always move your money around in little increments so every single day you know i give a little bit to my investment accounts i i might move well today three hundred dollars you know i move three hundred dollars from from my checking account to my investment account. And then I buy a little bit of stock, you know, in something that I think, you know, speculative or whatever, or, or you know, P PSLV or whatever, whatever symbol you want to throw in there. And, and so I'm always, always, always. And then, of course, my credit cards. I, I pay my credit cards almost, well, I mean, at least once or twice a week, you know. But I, I, I use them for everything because I get 2% cash back. So, you know, very rarely do I ever use cash because they're giving me money back, right? No, that's kind of silly because now they can track all my transactions. But as long as your transactions are above board, you know, I think you're, you're somewhat okay. I don't like the fact that the government tracks all my stuff, but, you know, I, that 2% cash back. And so, so what I'm telling you is just make sure you, you pay your bills uh, daily, weekly, bi-weekly, uh, and just keep those balance because you never know when you're going to fall down the stairs and break your neck. Oh, the other thing that was pretty cool today was the DeSantis uh, inauguration speech. Oh, my God. I encourage you to watch that. He emphasized Florida is the place where woke goes to die. <laughs> I love that statement. <laughs> 
And he did talk about how we have uh, an infinitely amount of uh, school choice here. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sorry to see that we, we're still got an influx of people coming in. You know, Florida's, I, I made the vi previous video about it's, it's, it's not the best state. You know, there, there are drawbacks to Florida. Maybe you want to go to South Carolina. Maybe you want to go to Tennessee or whatever. Uh, but I love it. I mean, to me, it's the free, 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 free state of Florida. And that's what uh, Governor DeSantis pointed out. He calls us the free state of Florida. So uh, life is always interesting. That's it for the watching the world burn today. Peace out. Stay free. Oh, man. Ah, man, I tell you, I'm, I'm all torn up. Man, physical therapy and I hiked five miles today. Oh, my God. Uh, my body's a wreck.